Welcome to Atarashi Hinode by T3 Solutions. Today we have got something very special to unbox. The one that has become quite popular on today's gaming market. It is the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. Here they have given some basic specifications. Later in this review, I will give you the detailed technical specifications. Let's start. First, let me take out the laptop. They have provided the safety and warranty guide. This one is a setup guide. Here is the RGB gaming mouse. It is the Type G power code. This one is a 135 watts power adapter. That's all inside the box. Let's take it out for a closer look. It's a lightweight ergonomic mouse. It has got its RGB IdeaPad branding over there. On the left side, it has got two buttons for selecting backward and forward RGB sequence. The mouse wheel 2 has got RGB. And on the top, there are two buttons to adjust DPI. Let me take the laptop out. Wow, there is a sleek metallic branding of Lenovo on the top right. Now let's take a look at the right side of the laptop. It has a ventilation grills and next to it there is an USB 3.2 generation 1 slot. And on the bottom right we have one of the speakers. Let's take a closer look at the speaker. This is a 1.5 watt speaker. Now let's take a look around the other sides of the laptop. This is the front side and there is nothing here. Now on the left side, the first one is a power connector and then there is the RJ45 Ethernet connector and next to it is a HDMI connector 2.0 and the fourth one is a type A USB 3.2 generation 1 and the next one is a type C USB connector and this one is not Thunderbolt but still considering the price point it is not a drawback. 
and then to the bottom left there is another 1.5 watt speaker. Now on the bottom side there are many slits for ventilation. Despite of these many ventilations, while I was using this laptop for a basic screen recording purpose, the temperature was 70 degrees Celsius. And when I lifted the laptop, the temperature dropped immediately to 55 degrees. It means that the laptop doesn't have enough base clearance. Now let me open the lid. On the left we can see the i7 10th generation and NVDA GeForce branding sticker. And on the right there is a sleek metallic Lenovo branding. The keyboard has been kept a little bit lowered from the touchpad surface and thus there is a smooth inclination towards the keyboard from the touchpad area. Typing is very comfortable and convenient in this layout since there is enough space for palm rest. Talking about the touchpad, this one supports multi-touch gestures. It has an HD webcam and the nice feature about it is that it has got a privacy shutter. And when you slide the privacy shutter to the left, you can see a red mark that covers the webcam. So now let's power it up. It has got a blue backlight. It comes with Windows 10 Home Edition. Now I am going to connect the mouse. The mouse has got a really nice RGB lighting. Let me set the thermal mode to performance mode in Lenovo Vantage. Now let me run Cinebench to get the benchmarks of this laptop. Coming to the technical specifications, this laptop runs with an 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor. It has got 6 cores with hyperthreading enabled which makes 12 logical processors and 12 MB of smart cache. It has a DDR4 16 GB RAM with a clock speed of 2933 MHz. It has got two hard disks, both are of Toshiba. The first one is a 256 GB SSD 
of M2 form factor and the second one is a 1 TB HDD with 5400 RPM. It has got an anti-glare Full HD LED display with 250 nits brightness and a refresh rate of 120 Hz. The graphics card is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Titanium Edition with 4 GB of GDDR6 video RAM. It has Wi-Fi 6 wireless adapter and supports Bluetooth version 5.0. Now the test has been finished and the score is 2919. This is a good score. I bought this from Lulu web store for Qatar 4525. Today's exchange rate is 20. So it comes around approximately 90,000 Indian rupees. Thanks for watching. See you later.